All right, here we have a few veneers and on layers as well. I'm going to run through this super quick. Uh, some of you that know this procedure will recognize what I'm doing. All right, so, okay, here I'm going to take these and put them into the correct collection, which is a working models collection. This is the antagonist collection. We do need uh, teeth, and I'm going to grab a different tooth library. Good, I'm going to, to select, move them into the collection. I'm going to choose the teeth that I need. So that spans across all this way. And we're going to delete the unwanted teeth and we're going to then move them into a position. So here we get to select what we want to hide. Let's just take this. And now I can see the teeth are way too big. So I'm going to S to scale them down. Something like that. I think that's almost okay. Let's see what they look like from the front. Tilt the key to see, look at them from the front. Let's also look at the antagonist that's looking rather flash. And um, maybe a few individual movements here. So we can see that that molar's standing inwards. I'm going to move this one in as well a little bit like that. And this one as well. Okay, now we can see these are um, quite far um, palately, but I want to try and maintain a good shape um, arched. So if we can get away with something like that, that would be absolutely awesome. Although I don't think we may have to make these just a teeny weeny bit smaller. All right, I'm going to take all of my teeth and put them in the correct collection. Teeth to collection. Great, and now we're going to move them apart with the anti-collision. So this is really cool how it works. Here we can see how they collide, okay? Select all the teeth and then move out of collision. Boom. That's just amazing. And then we're going to accept this like that. All right, so now the the contact points are sort of a little bit out. So I'm just going to use a G key and just move them a little bit better in transparent mode. Okay. So I'm just going to move them. I'll just try and move them. Here they still seem to be colliding a bit. So I'm going to move, take all the teeth and then move out of collision and then accept. Excellent. So now they've all been out of collision. Great. So this is, this is looking absolutely awesome. Maybe this one we can move out a little bit more. Now we can see how far these teeth are behind and the purpose of that is to get a nice arch. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to hide the, this collection and I'm going to start marking the teeth. All right, so the scan is not that good. It's been given to me, but um, we'll try and work on this. So, okay, draw. Now this is going to take a little while to do. I will just do one and then I will stop the video. So here, this is a bit of an onlay, I was told. We're going to grab this all the way. Like that. Okay. I'm going to cut the surface. And then I'm going to pause it and do the rest of them. Now 
now that they've all been uh, all the surfaces have been done we're going to block them out I'm going to do them in batches so these three of them I think we can do together look at it from the above move it to a good path of insertion and then we're going to block it out and then we're going to do all of the other ones some of them may need to be done on their own so this is something that you have to uh, visualize and assess which ones are undercut All right, now that we've got these surfaces, we're going to give them all margins. Okay, I'm going to give them, I'm going to give these two a little bit bigger margins. So we're going to give them 0 0.2 millimeters margins. The rest of them I'm going to just give 0 0.1 millimeter margins. Okay, here we go. Next, we're going to create the die spacer and we're going to create the safe designs. Now, we can do that all in one go. Alright, I'm going to use the default values for all of these. And then after that, we're going to cut out the occlusion. Okay, we're going to view our teeth and we're going to then select our antagonist. View the antagonist. We're going to create a cutter for this antagonist. Next, I'm going to be selecting all of my teeth that I want to have trimmed. They in turn are going to go blue and we're going to trim these restorations. Great, now we can see that some of them are quite a lot trimmed, but um, the other ones are okay up front here. I'm going to leave them as they are at the moment. We're going to continue to go to generate these. So I'd like to reposition my teeth just a little bit so edit and i'm going to just pull this mesh a little bit to the side over here that's important to do when you're doing veneers here i'm going to just drag it over a little bit like that and this one as well that's good this one in particular needs a little bit of attention so i'm going to take this one and this one h to hide take this one and edit the mesh we're going to use the g key or just left click and use the g key and we're going to reposition this a little bit better something to this effect and the same I'm going to do on this one here. That's mainly because it's so far away from the margin. Next, we're going to be generating all of these crowns and veneers and onlays. All right, I'm going to take all of these teeth, select them all, and then click on Generate Upper Crowns and let the computer 
algorithm do its thing. This might take a little while depending on your computer speed, but um, please keep in mind there's a lot of scripts and work behind this, so please be patient. And let's see the magic unfold. And wow, here we have it. Beautiful. Next, I'm going to be selecting them all in one go, and we're going to smooth them down. You can see that the mask protection is on, so that we cannot damage the inside surfaces. And here we see them all completed.